should be happy to be young. Before you know it, you'll be overweight, unattractive, balding, middle-aged. Take over breakfast. I don't want you to see me like this. What's his problem? Eh, you never know with that guy. Come on, let's have breakfast. Man, what a pile of beans. <gasps> Dude, watch your language. You'll get us in trouble. Well, I'm sorry, Darwin, but it is. It's a big, steaming pile of beans. <gasps> Gumball, look! A shooting star! This is our chance. Make a wish. I wish I was a grown-up. Me too. Nah, that didn't work at all. Ow! Baker! Oh, darn kids, what do y'all think you're doing? Today's lesson will be about the transformations of the human body. As you get older, hormones begin to change your appearance. Here. It's me as an adult talking to my secretary over the intercom. It's me voting. Awesome. Passing notes, are we? No, Miss Simeon. Well, then, what's this? Uh, that's us as adults? I guess you're on topic, then. Anyway, pimples, my aunts. Actually, it's pretty gross. You may continue. Ew. Pimples, or acne, can pop up at any time. Dude, what's that on your face? What? What? That. What? It looks like a greasy yellow egg. No, no, actually, it's more like a small volcano with a sweaty golf ball. Do something! Do something! Okay, okay, hold on. Let me just... Uh... I think we're gonna need more little hats. Ah! Relax, dude. That's easy for you to say. Why don't you have any? <laughs> Just lucky, I guess. Ah! 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 Oh! Ow! Ooh! Ah! I think that's all of them. Uh, what's happening to us? I think we've got the plague. Do you have any other symptoms? My top lip feels a little silky. Next comes the appearance of hair on the body and face. <laughs> Dude, you look like an undercover cop. <laughs> Stop laughing! Do something! Okay. I see mom do this all the time. And dad on one occasion. <sighs> that feels so much better. Worry, dude. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about you. You look like a baby werewolf. No, not me. It was better when it was just you. Uh, guys, I don't mean to interrupt, but this is the girls' toilet. Uh, yeah, sorry. We gotta sort this out. Start chewing. Okay, settle down. Everyone get into your team for dodgeball. Oh, no, not dodgeball. <laughs> You're going down. <clears throat> you get the idea. Please, not above the show. Ah! I guess you should come in. Oh, uh, well, that's one way to get in the house. <laughs> right. So, what do you want to do today? Today is the funeral. Oh. For Mr. Cuddles, my pet? Oh, thank goodness. I thought it might be a real funeral. <laughs> I mean, pets, pets are great, like part of the family. So, what happened to him? My dad flushed him down the toilet by mistake. <laughs> That's terrible. Did it go rounder and rounder straight down? Straight down. I'm Penny's father. I <laughs> blocked. Right. Come to the backyard. The service is about to start. <sighs> Penny, I'm sorry. I thought this was a date. Why didn't you tell me it was a funeral? I did, in the corridor at school. Do you want to come to my house? It's Mr. Cuddle's funeral. I could use some support from a friend. 
Snowball, are you even listening? Uh, this Saturday, 4 p.m. It's it's a date. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Don't worry, I'm still here for you, Penny. Thanks, Gumball. Awesome. Day for remembering those who have left us. Shall we go? Gumball, perhaps you'd like to say a few words about Mr. Cuddles. Um, of, of course. Well, Mr. Cuddles was Penny's pet. Even though I never met him, Penny's pretty hot. So I'm sure he was pretty hot too. Thank you, Gumball. That was really special. My picture! Huh? My sister made a photo tribute so we can all remember Mr. Cuddles. Aw, how thoughtful. Wanna see? <laughs> the spider! Knock his block off! That's awful! I hate spiders! Who would want something that creepy in their house? <laughs> Listen, son, I think it's best you leave. I'll, uh, let myself out. Play on, dear. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes. Uh, sorry, it's me again. Did I use your bathroom call? It's kind of it's a It's the second on the left upstairs. Thanks. From Glen to Glen. Have a nice funeral. Just get out of here. Oh man, what is wrong with me? She's never going to forgive me for that. I'll spend the rest of my life alone and never find happiness. Ah, the spider! Knock his block off! No, wait. But come me back I, I when Mr. summer He's on the toilet! The Is he trying to say He's something? On the toilet! Look! The toilet! Just ignore him! And why it's <sighs> I guess I'll have to show them. Come here, little fella. <laughs> Oh, good, good boy, Mr. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off! Get off. Don't look. You'll just encourage him. toilet somewhere. Gumball, this is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Son, I stand corrected. I thought you were a good-for-nothing young troublemaker, but no. Remind me again exactly why we're at school on a Saturday. Are you kidding me? It's club day. It's the only day of the week when I get to hang out with people I really like. What? Uh, gotta go. Okay, see you all back here at five. But wait, I don't have a club to go to. Well, Mom, looks like it's your lucky day. I'm coming with you to your anger management club. Oh, that's sweet, Gumball. But behind this door, I'm a very different person. Trust me, you don't want to see this. Hello, Nicole. Welcome to... Ah! Ah! Could you guys keep it down a little? You keep it down! Hey, Anais, what club are you in? Physics club. Well, today's your lucky day because I'm... Let me no stop you right there. You know there are different types of intelligence? Yeah. I don't think you have any of them. I don't get it. Exactly. Oh, come on! Oh, let me in! Oh, don't be a club hog! Oh, fine. Dad, can I join your fantasy club? Ooh, be there! It's me, Gumball. Be you orc? No. Be you dwarf? No, I'm your son. Be you better or savor a snacks for the elders? What? No. Then be gone! <sighs> What's up? Man, there's gotta be a club for me somewhere. You could always join my club. What is it? Synchronized swimming! Hmm, you're good, but I can do better. Here comes the swan dive of eternal beauty! How graceful was that? Dude, you can't swim. <coughs> Fair point. Uh, has anyone seen my trunks? Yeah! Touchdown! Oh, Slam dunk! Yeah! Uh, hey guys, 
Is this the football club? Yeah! Well, uh, did I miss the game? No, it's going on right out there. Why aren't you playing? Because we're, we're the, the reserve team. team! Cool. So, can I join? I don't know. Are you man enough? <laughs> Me? I'm at least 50% man. Well, in that case, here's your towel. Thanks. So, do you guys ever get to play? Nah, we just hang out here and act kind of sporty. You guys just take showers, hang around in towels, and high-five each other? <laughs> There's a little bit more to it than that. Is the game over? Yeah, we lost. Uh oh. What? Ah! 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 <sighs> oh, why doesn't anyone want me in their club? It can't have anything to do with me, my talent, my intelligence, or my general awesomeness. You know what? Too bad for you jealous people, because I'm starting my own club and you are not invited. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to Gumball's Club of Gumball. First order of business, attendance. Hmm, pretty good. Now, it seems like recently we've been let down by certain family members. So I propose a little exercise in trust. Okay, don't worry, Gumball. Just close your eyes, let yourself fall back, and someone will catch you. Oh, I'm a bit scared, Gumball. Well, that's why it's called a trust exercise. Come on, dude. Mm, okay. <gasps> she can stay, but... Oh, thank you! You're such a kind and friendly family. You know, I've never had friends before. I don't even know what friends do. Don't worry. We'll show you. Now, a very important part of friendship is sharing. Imagine you both have ice creams. Oh! But what's this? Darwin has dropped his ice cream. I said, Darwin has dropped his ice cream. <laughs> you got it on my shoes. And do you want to share mine? Very good. Ice cream, Darwin! Oh, thanks! But Gumball, you don't have an ice cream! Want to share mine? Sure. Oh. Dude, this is so gross. Why don't you pretend you have your own ice cream? No. <gasps> Why didn't I think of that? Friends also high five. Like this. High, high five. five! Okay, now it's your <laughs> No, I meant slap my <laughs> Let's move on to the next lesson. How about we all play a game, like friends do? Here's one we made up. It's called Dodge or Dare! Roll the dice. Take a card. What What'd you get? Put a gooey hairball in Miss Simeon's lunch. Huh. Let me take that. Pick another. When Miss Simeon's back is turned... Ah, actually, let me pick one for you. Oh, come on, Simeon. Slug juice, drop water balloons on Simeon. Miss Simeon, Miss Simeon, Miss Simeon. <laughs> Forget the cards. Here's a dare. Make the most annoying noise possible. <laughs> okay. That was good, but we know that you can do better. Like when you're mad at us. Oh, you mean this little thing? Gumba! <laughs> that... Uh was awesome! High five! That still needs a little work. I've got my eye on you, Simeon. <laughs> Do it again, bitch! <laughs> I'm so pleased to finally have such great friends! Ah, we, we love, love you, Miss Simeon. Simeon. Sorry, kids. Miss Simeon, can I have a word with you in private, please? Yes, Nicole. How can I help you? Listen, Simeon, you might have the rest of them fooled, but I don't trust you for a second. I remember you from school. I remember the horrible name you used to call me every day. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. And I'm sorry. What? I was that horrid person for so long. And look where it got me. No friends, no family, just bitterness and wrinkles. 
But even an old ape can change. Will you give me that chance? Oh, I don't know. It's all happening so fast. Please. Oh, okay, I'll I'll give it another shot. What do we do now, best friends? Ah, uh, let's see. I know. Best friends write letters to each other about how great they are. Wow, what a friendly idea. What shall we write? Uh, how about we, the aforementioned, unanimously agree that Miss Savine is worthy of this year's favorite teacher award? Favorite teacher award. Okay, done it. <laughs> it's mine! Look how happy she is. And that's the power of friendship. First, we gotta get you out of here. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Are you sure about this? Don't worry, you're in safe hands. Ready? Breathe in, breathe out. Ah! Enough! I'm not sure what he sees in that woman. But anyway, come on, Mr. Robinson. Let's show her you still got it. Okay, now go ballistic. I can't, kids. I'm not that man anymore. Then we'll do it for you. Hey, you, Mr. Robinson's wife. Come and have an argument with him. I mean, me. We're gonna have a fight and you're gonna like it. Ha! How do you like my arguing, huh? See how angry I am? Wanna make out? <laughs> oh, you made it worse. I didn't think it was possible, but you made it worse. <laughs> ah, the ghost! He's about to attack the children! Yourself, ghost of Mr. Robinson. Hey, what's up, neighbor? I've had enough of this family. Your tacky lifestyle, your ugly house, your cheap garden shed. I'll smash it to pieces. <laughs> It's more solid than I thought. But this is what I do to your unfashionable deck chairs! And as for your crummy thrift store vacuum cleaner, buy cheap! Buy twice! And this is what I think of your two dollar clip on tie. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Welcome back, Mr. Mr. Robinson. Robinson! Thanks. So, since we saved your marriage and everything, I guess that makes us best friends forever. So can we call you Gaylord instead of Mr. Robinson? Don't push it, kid. Now, take me home, woman. <laughs> What was that all about? Well, there never was a ghost, Dad. It was Mr. Robinson. We hit him in the attic. No. I mean, what's wrong with our house, our shed, and my tie? <sighs> Dad, you know what I do when I feel like a loser? I look at this. Yeah. <sighs> I feel better now. <laughs> Who does he think he is anyway? Two dollar clip on tie. At least I know how to treat my wife. <laughs> <sighs> Richard! Nah, not enough sugar. Oh! A donut! That could fill a hole. Just get rid of him. Okay. 
You want it? Yes, yes, yes. Really? Yes. You really, really want it? Yes. Then back. <laughs> He's gone, Mr. Charity Man. Great. Good job. Now get back to looting. I mean, uh, collecting for charity. Yay! Now let's get back to business. So, Mr. Employee of the Month, where is the safe? I won't tell you anything. They would fire me. Oh, really? What would they do about this? No, please. They'll take it off my salary. Whoops. You heartless monster, that was 25 cents. Now, where is the safe? I won't tell you. Oops. Oh, that was 35 cents. Oops. Wait, that was 250 reduced from 395. Now will you talk? Never. Your choice. No! Look, Darwin. Shampoo. Perfect for bald people. Ooh. What's that? It's a safe, Darwin. It's full of money. And what do bald people need more of? Friends? Exactly! And how do you buy friends? Uh... With money! Yay! Oh, there's a lock. What number should I try? Um, two! And it doesn't work. Seven! No. Nine! Nope. Well, that's all the numbers I know! Try two again. <sighs> I guess we'll have to use brute force. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Oh, thanks. Where are the boys? Well, I forgot your birthday, so I sent them down to the gas station to get you a present. What? Oh, is it the birthday? Or sending two kids downtown at night on their own? Put your pants on and get in the car. <laughs> We're never gonna crack it. You know, you only have to ask nicely. Please? Whoa! I can't believe you sent the kids to the gas station at this hour. Come on, honey. What's the worst that can happen? Hey! Three seconds! He's got a spoon! Ah! Ha! Suck it! Hey, Mr. Charity Man! We found money for the... bold. Hi, Mom! Hi, Dad! Why are you tied up? <laughs> oh, he's not really a good guy, is he? Oh, come on. You really are suckers. Now give me the money. No! Run, Darwin, run! Give me that bag right now! Give me the money! Oh, come on. You're not going to stop me with a marshmallow. Ow! That sausage was frozen! <laughs> to hide here forever. <laughs> Such a sad story. But it's not true. You see, it was 9 o'clock this morning, and... Come on, Electrofat. Make me beautiful! Oh, Mr. Robinson's new car. Oh, okay. It's just a dink. I'll bang it out. <clears throat> this may take a while. 
There. Finished. Phew. So you see, it was my fault, not yours. What should we do now? Well, I think the most responsible thing to do is to hide here forever and never let your mother find out what happened. I already know. Ah! Honey? But it's not quite what you think. It was 9 o'clock this morning and... Wait! Can I do this? Yay! Put the tape on, Mom! Yes, honey. Yeah. Where is it? Here! Yeah. They parked right in front of our lawn. I just didn't see it. I was about to tell Mr. Robinson, but... Horrible mother. <sighs> so, we went to see the show. And it was great! So there, it was mostly my fault. I'm so relieved. It was a family effort. Darn it! I know they're up there! Get in there and arrest those vandals! I know without a warrant, sir. Ah! I pay my taxes, and that pays your salary. Ergo, I'm your boss. Now get in there and do your job. Please, sir, calm down. All right. I suppose I shall have to take matters into my own hands, huh? Well, here come the Robinsons. Poor Mr. Robinson. We wrecked his beautiful new car, and nobody has the courtesy to apologize. We should be ashamed of ourselves. So let's get out there and apologize, as a family. <sighs> okay. <gasps> this is what happens when you mess with Gaylord. This is what happens. This is what happens. This is what happens. They look kind of angry, Gumball. Please stop. Please. Please, ma'am, drop the duster. Please. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, please. Maybe we should give them time to calm down. So, uh, do you want to press charges? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm sure they learned their lesson. It's too bad you have to live next to such monsters. Don't worry, Mr. Robinson. We'll look after your house while you're gone. <laughs> Such a great guy. Well, there's one important thing we learned today. Huh? That electro fat machine was worth every penny. Because it's nothing a good song won't fix. When life hands you lemons, you gotta make some lemonade. <gasps> Darwin, stop it already. It's getting embarrassing. Come on! How's it going? Ah, oh, it's great. Except for the fact that this is turning out to be the worst day of my life! <clears throat> it's like I'm cursed or something. Watterson, this school has a dress code. These rags are obscene. Get to Lost and Found. They'll provide you with something more suitable. But Principal Brown... Uh -huh. <sighs> there you go. Much better. You've got to be kidding me. I'm sorry, dude, but this isn't a department store, you know. Oh, Rocky, there's got to be something else. You're in luck! People think I'm a fruit, but I'm also classified as an herb. <gasps> what? <laughs> Where did you get your clothes? Lost and found? <laughs> well, actually, yes, I did. Oh. Uh, hey, where did you get your clothes? The circus? <laughs> Dude, we kind of just went over this already. Lost and found. Oh. Hey, where did you get your clothes? 
you get your clothes? The swim shop and the hat shop? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get your brain from? The dollar store? Seven hours detention for hurting my feelings. What? But... I'll see you after school. Fine. Ow! Paper cut! Everything's great, Darwin. Everything's just peachy. Oh, okay. Darwin, don't take everything I say so literally. Okay. What about what you just said now? Should I take that literally? Uh, no. Yes. No. I don't know. <laughs> Talk to me. I think I'm cursed. Hmm. Then what you need is a good luck charm. Guys, there are no such things as lucky charms, curses, or tickets falling from the sky. There must be a scientific explanation for what's happening to Gumball, like there is for everything. Oh, yeah? How does your science explain the magic of rainbows, then? Huh? Diffraction of light through moisture in the atmosphere. It's a sad world you live in. Come on, Gumball. Darwin, how will I know if it's a four-leaf clover? Simple. They've got four leaves, and they're extremely rare. Rarer? They're one in a million. Rarer than the rarest found one. Top of the morning to you. Ooh. I can already feel my luck changing. Hey, look, a lucky book. Darwin! Uh, Where do you think you're going? Uh, buy some stuff. At the shop? What are you doing? He's your son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, little guy. From now on, I'll always be there for you. <laughs> Darwin, I think he's ready for his first steps. Wait! Go ahead. Come on, don't be shy. Come to Daddy. Aw, he's kind of got my eyes. Don't you think? <laughs> ah! Got the chocolate, too! Dude, what babies do is just suckling. It's not suckling, it's baby! Okay, relax. He's just playing. He'll come off on his own. Okay. 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 Ah! Ah! Sinking in. okay, that's enough, bad baby. Stop mauling your father and get back in your jar this day. Ah! Ah! He's got my dad. I know what it is. He must be hungry. Okay, so it doesn't like fruits, vegetables, or cereal. But it does like pigeons, rats, raccoons, seagulls, and the mailman's butt. What was all that noise? What are you two up? Ah! What is that thing? It's our baby. What are you talking about? Where did you find it? It came out of the microwave. Are you sure it didn't come out of the toilet? It's disgusting. They always look a bit funny when they're just born. He's actually very oh. advanced for his age. You should have seen him catch that seagull. What? You put that monster out? Look, I was trying to be nice here, but you better stop insulting our child or I don't know what I'll do. It's not a child. And what is it doing in my high chair? <gasps> don't listen to her, Kenneth. She's just jealous. You called it Kenneth? Baby needs a name. Look, like it or not, you're Kenneth's aunt. Now, we're gonna buy more pigeon traps. You babysit. Are you crazy? Where do you think you're... Ugh. I guess you're kind of ugly cute. What kind of animal are you? Wow, those are pretty pointy teeth. What the... <laughs> Kenneth, we're home! Oh, what a mess. Where's some nice? Yeah, I knew she'd bail. Gumball, has Kenneth grown? Grown into a troublemaker? This place is a mess! Naughty Kenneth! Parcel for the water sheds! Did Kenneth just eat the mailman? No, 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 no. That's not possible. Not my Kenneth. Well, where is he then? What do I know, mailing? I'm more worried about Kenneth. Does it look to you like he's gaining weight? I'm more worried about his attitude. This boy needs discipline. <sighs> I think we need parental advice. So, um, we're doing this school project? Uh-huh. And, uh, we've got to look after this uh, gross dog thing. I'm with you. And we need your help disciplining it. Okay. 
It's pretty simple, kind of like children, actually. The first thing you have to do is let it know you're the pack leader. So you look them in the eyes and tell them firmly you're the boss. Now, you've been a naughty doggy. Dad, he's got your finger. Well, that's to be expected, son. The best thing to do is to remain calm and reassert your authority. Yeah, but it seems to be eating your arm. <laughs> it's just testing its boundaries. The worst you can do is give it attention for negative behavior. I have always found that a positive reinforcement approach is the best way to be. Dad! Get it seen, Dad! It's probably at Ice, too! We've got to save them! <laughs> Oh, it burns! <laughs> My eyes! What was that? Uh, I don't know. Paint? <laughs> ah! oh, what was that? Uh, chlorine from the pool? <laughs> ah! What was that? Uh, fertilizer? <laughs> oh, I guess it's all right then. But that's still two hours of detention for potentially damaging my beautiful face. Really, Principal Brown, you need to be firmer huh? than that. Oh, okay. Four hours detention. Eight hours? Mm, good. See you in detention, Watterson. Mom, you're not helping. <laughs> the nerds think you look like a dodecadork with your mom at school. <laughs> what does that mean? It's a 12-sided dork, honey. <laughs> mom, you're not helping. Come on, honey, open the tunnel for the choo-choo train. Mom, you're not helping. <laughs> Enough! The Tina thing was kind of helpful, but this has gone too far. Wait a minute. I, uh, thanks. Now, seriously, I need you to stop meddling with my life. I'm not meddling. I'm helping. Helping by meddling. You're just a big meddler. I'm not a meddler. I'm your mother. And a meddler. <laughs> hey, isn't that the girl you like? Mom, no! Uh, excuse me, Penny. Have you got a second? Sure, but you guys will need to be quick. The cheerleader tryouts are about to start. Mom, if you love me, please don't do this. Oh, come on, Gummy Puss. Don't be shy. My baby has something to say to huh? you. No, I don't. He'd like to take you out on a date. Uh, that's not true. He loves you. Really? No, I don't! I don't love Penny, and I never will! Gumball? Well... Thanks for being honest with me. No, wait! I meant I'll never love peanuts! No, ponies! <laughs> See what you did? You upset Penny! How am I supposed to get her back? Well, you know, I could help you with that's that. That's enough, okay? That's enough! I'm my own man now. I make my own decisions, and I don't need you babying me any muck. Any muck. Uh, thanks. Now just go home, okay? Oh, come on. We all had a great time, didn't we, Darwin? To be honest, I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Why are you smiling then? Well, at first I was trying not to hurt your feelings, but now I'm just stuck. I beg of you, just get out of my life. Okay, I guess I'll just go home then. She's gone. I'll never smell again. Darwin! Mom, you're back! Yay! Do you know where your brother is? In the changing room. Thanks. Gumball, it's me. Open the door. No! No, I won't! What happened? Oh, it's awful! I made a decision on my own and it was bad. Listen, whatever it is you've done, you need to come out and face it. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm coming out. Oh, you were going to try and get closer to Penny by joining her cheer team, but now you feel embarrassed because you have to wear a skirt. What? No! I'm going to beat Penny at her own game so she'll realize how awesome and manly I am. Then she'll definitely want to date me. Right. So, what's the problem? The problem is me! What if I'm not as good as the other girls? What if they laugh at me? And this leotard makes me look fat, so I put this skirt on to hide my butt. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I'm going to wear this anymore. Why? I thought about 
match your good luck. Yeah, it does, but nothing's fun anymore. See, watch this. Whoa! Ta-da! Whoop the boring dude. What are you talking about? That was fit flap fantastic! Yeah, a week ago maybe, but now it's just lame. I think I'm gonna throw it out. Don't throw it out! I could really use some luck right now. I've been trying to get on win or don't win for five months, but they're not returning my calls. You're never gonna get on that show, hat or no hat. <gasps> There's a show called Hat or No Hat? Look, you want it, you have it. Hello? Would I? Uh, tomorrow? Oh, thank you, win or don't win! Wow! This hat is amazing! Okay, guys, as impressive as all this is, let's not get carried away. There's no way a tinfoil hat is responsible for... Richard, what are you... Hello? Interview. Tomorrow? For a promotion and a pay rise? What was that? That was the sound of doom for the Watersons. Do you ever miss your helmet? No, why? Well, everyone seems to be using it for really cool stuff, like Dad with the TV show or Mom with her job. All you ever did was lame party tricks. It doesn't matter, Darwin. I'm happy to see the back of it. Succeeding at everything really took the joy out of life. Besides, sometimes in life, you make your own luck! <laughs> It's so good to fail again. You see, you take a pinch of success, a dash of failure, you mix it together, and that's what makes life interesting. See? That wasn't so bad. You just blew up the amp farm. Oh, 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 ah, 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 it's okay! Ah, life is great, Darwin! Ah, 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 ah. So you're saying you're happy when you fail? Absolutely. It's a struggle that makes a victory sweet. Besides, I still got it. Butter side down, just like poor Uncle Eddie. What do you know? My lunch is on the floor. Hey, who's the funny guy who did that? And you know what the best thing about failure is, Darwin? Well, is that it builds your sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I'm nothing without my helmet. I want it back. I need it. But I need it more, because I need to win the show. Well, I need it to get the promotion, which is more important than a game show. But if I win the show, I'll get a speedboat. Think about how great it would be for me. Richard, you'll never use it. Nicole, if I win a speedboat, I'm gonna use it. You have to understand, I'm doing this for the greater good. Winning the speedboat will be good for you, but not for the rest of the family. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry, Nicole. Uh, I don't know what came over me. It's okay, just where did you hide the helmet? It's in this bag. Oh, mm. no, wait! Actually, it's in. It's in this one. I was gonna trick you. I'm sorry. I guess that helmet's got more power over me than I thought. Thanks for being honest, honey. Maybe it won't be so bad. I'll just meet Tina in a quiet, calm atmosphere, and we'll talk things through like civilized people. Yeah! This is a great idea. This is a terrible idea. Hey, what's going on here? I'll have no fighting on my watch. Oh, Gumball Watterson, I might have known. Oh, thank you, Miss Simeon. Oh, I was going to fight a T-Rex. Please send me to detention. Well, I suppose I could after my coffee break. But, Miss Simeon, Tina's got him. Coffee break? <laughs> but, Miss Simeon, you're my last hope. Please. <laughs> What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Use the bunny hop, son. Son, 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 son. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I wasn't gonna miss the big fight. Gumball! Time to deal with this like a man. Gumball! Stop running! <laughs> 
Dude, I have no idea what you're saying. Sorry! removing your glasses when you're at the table? Uh, yes. <gasps> what happened to you? I ran into a door. That's not true. He's being bullied. Seriously, I did run into a door. Honey pie. Combo. <gasps> Sit. You guys make up. <sighs> Mr. Rex. Hi, Mr. Rex. We need to talk about your daughter. <laughs> so it's going to be like that, is it? Well, that's fine by me. Your dad is pretty scary. So's your mom. Uh, Tina, is it true that you're bullying me? What? 24 hours? Oh, this is horrible! All the things I wanted to do in my life, all my plans, ruined! Ruined! <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. 24 hours is actually quite a long time. Hey, you're right. I mean, how many minutes are there in an hour? Like 60? So that's like 60 times 24, which is 3 billion seconds. That's like ages. Well, we've got to make every second count. You know, Darwin, I've never asked you, but what do you want to do with your life? What are your hopes and dreams? Who is Darwin Watterson? Well, I guess what makes me happy is helping other people who are less fortunate than ourselves do the circumstances beyond their control. So I'd like to start a charity for... Where are you going? Dude, I don't think the end of the world is time to get charitable. And besides, you're getting kind of boring. I think we'd be better off doing some of the things I want to do. Darwin, what are we doing here? Learning cards. So we can get a career, a home, and feed our children in the future. Darwin, there is no future. We need to make the most of it right now. Not listen to some baboon drone on about algebra. Oh, Gumbo. This is biology. Oh, who cares? It won't matter in 24 hours. Don't kiss me, Penny. <clears throat> I've got a surprise for you today, children. A surprise test! <laughs> well, I got a surprise for you. I'm not going to do the test because it's the end of the world and nothing matters anymore. Not even this! <gasps> How's that for a surprise? <laughs> so come on, everybody. Let's turn our last day on Earth into the biggest party ever! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> okay, on second thoughts, spending three hours in detention wasn't the best use of our time. Oh, I'm gonna be late for my wedding now. Wedding? Yes, Darwin, my wedding. By the power of the banana, it is my duty to ask if there's anyone here who sees any reason why Gumbo and Penny should not be joined in marriage. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Actually, I've got more than one reason. 
Firstly, I'm 12, and so are you. Secondly, you didn't even propose to me. You're just trying to marry me in the school corridor. Hey, guys. Happy wedding. And finally, this is not a wedding ring. It's a bagel. But you know what? That shouldn't stop you from asking me again in 20 years. <gasps> but you don't have 20 years. Shh. I love her too much to let her know the truth. Hey, want to get married? Gumball, why do you have a perm? It's just something I've always wanted to do. So, Mom, under normal circumstances, how long do you reckon I'm going to live for? Well, your grandfather lived to be 102, so I wouldn't worry, sweetie. Hmm, that's at least 90 more birthday presents. Mom, I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I want to combine all of my birthday presents into one manageable lump present. So can I have a pony after dinner? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. Do you want a tutu with that? <laughs> <laughs> if I get you a pony, you'd get bored of it in a day. Not an issue. Okay, I'll get you a pony. Thank you, finally. As soon as your father starts laying golden eggs. I haven't given up yet. 